JMU's isolation dorms currently in use are Oak and Willow, previously vacant on Greek Row, and Valley Hall, which is found on the quad. Last week, Tim Miller took a stroll to Valley Hall to quickly and safely deliver get well cards to the quarantined students. I just think in general, mental health is a concern for me with our students all the time. <clears throat> so and then you add the, the extra layer of, hey, you're getting moved to a location for 14 days. You're with people you don't know. It's not your room that you really nicely decorated a few weeks ago. Uh, all those things together just, you know, are concerning to me. So I was just happy to go over and, and see a few of them. Once students hear from their positive test, they head to an isolation dorm to start their 10 day quarantine. Many students filled with questions. I didn't know who to talk to when I like had questions. Like when I was like, can I go get more clothes? Like, I don't know where like the laundry is. There's because there was no RAs. There was just no one to talk to you about any of it. And so I'd be like calling the health center and they're like, we don't know what your laundry is like. <laughs> students in close relation to positive cases are told to self quarantine in their dorm rooms. Not being able to use the dining halls, they are sent to the pod. Food there is not great. It's not like uh, dining hall food, it's refrigerated stuff. We were being delivered hot meals downstairs and like the common room wasn't great in the first place. So they took that into consideration and they gave us our own options to pick up food now, which in my opinion was even worse.